Yeah, we're recording. Okay. Alright, so hi guys. I'm sorry I haven't done a video in a while, but I got my friend Ruchi here tonight. And she's been growing her hair for... Two and a half years. Two and a half years, and we're going to donate it to Pantene. They have an excellent hair donation program. And really quick, before I cut off the hair, I actually wanted to show a proper way of donating hair, because sometimes I see people who cut off their hair to donate, and it's not necessarily done the proper way. And you, if you do it wrong, then actually the hair is not usable, so it's really important that you make sure you do the proper steps. So Ruchi's actually washed her hair and blown it dry, because the hair needs to be super clean before you donate it. And then I've prepped it before we cut it off into actually four quadrants, if you can see here two in the front and then two in the back and then I braided it and rubber banded on both ends and it has to be at least about eight inches before you cut it off and donate it and so we're going to snip these off and then put it in a ziplock baggie and then she's going to ship it off to Pantene. So, you have to download the form. Oh and download the form. If you go to Pantene's website they have a form and everything um, for you to follow and to send in with your hair. So I'm going to cut just above the rubber banded end. And you also want to make sure you're giving yourself enough room to work with after you cut it off that you can still get a good haircut afterwards and that you're not cutting a big chunk out. It's all gone. Gulp. Gulp. Freedom. And for Ruchi's haircut, we're going to do something about this length, maybe just a little bit shorter with a lot more layers. She has a lot of natural wave in her hair. And so since we're getting into the summer months, I want to just give her something that she can easily wash and go and not worry about styling it too much. All right, so we're going to wet her hair back down and start the cut. Alright, so as you can see, we're done with the cut, and I'm going to start the blowout now. And for the blowout today, we're going to use the Kerastase Nectar Thermique, which is a leave-in conditioner, and it also acts as a thermal protectant. So whenever you're doing any sort of blow drying, it's good to have something in the hair that's going to protect it from the heat, because the blow dryer gets to about 400 degrees. Um, blow dryer. So I'm gonna actually have Ruchi put the product in her hair so you at home know how to properly apply a product before blowing out your hair. You're gonna start with just about a quarter size drop and Ruchi's gonna rub it through her hands like a lotion. And then this, what this does is it allows the product to evenly distribute through the hair a lot more evenly. So Ruchi's gonna then comb it through with her fingers starting at the ends and then working her way up. Go on the other side, and work your way up a little bit more. And then you can actually reactivate it in your hands a little bit more if you do a little bit more. And then that way you're not using too much product. Because what happens if you just go like this and put it on, it's going to clump on the first place you touch your hair, and it's going to be really heavy in that spot. So this helps prevent that. And then for her blowout today, I really want to bring out the layers that we put in the haircut. So I'm going to use a smaller round brush, and this is going to create a little bit more of a wave and bend in her hair, as opposed to using a larger one. This will create more of like a smooth, sleek look. This is definitely going to create more of like a flip and movement to really bring out her cut. All right, so I'm partway through with the blow dry. As you can see, I've completely rough dried Ruchi's hair, so it's dry before we start doing the round brush, and I'm using 
a ceramic round brush to kind of help smooth out the hair and add shine. And if you come over to this side, everything is being curled away from the face. So just moving in very smooth fluid motions like so and curling the round brush away from the face to create a nice swept effect with the finished product. And this way it has a nice soft natural, soft natural look. And it also frames in the face really nicely and helps bring out the layers around the face. Was John in the shot? No. Final product. What do you want me to do? The mirror? Yeah, let's show the front. Here, go ahead and stand up, Ruji. We'll actually show. So, as you can see, with like the like the waves that the smaller round brush put in there, you can really see the shape of the haircut and the layers in there, and it just has a lot more life and body to it. What do you think, Ruji? I'm so happy. Yes. I love it. I'm Two and a half years it. was worth it. Yeah, I'm free. <laughs> And it's something completely unexpected it's and, dancing and here. completely perfect at the same time. Shake it. Wow, very yeah. cool. Very cool. Masterpiece. Shake it, shake it. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> okay. Cool. Right. Thanks, guys. Yeah.